People ask me, what do I drive when I'm at home? And honestly, the answer is I prefer to ride a bicycle if I can. But today I'll be in the Touareg 2005 V8 with the trailer. And if you were wondering about the very loud birds, yes, it is six o'clock in the morning. I'm not a morning person in the slightest. This is part of my day job. This is something that I really enjoy doing I have a huge amount of passion for it, and so I'm very excited to share with you. Um, in the meantime, though, not to be all like YouTube or whatever, um, I'm going to put Saratec into the 4.2 liter V8 Touareg engine. Um, I do work with Liquamoly, so this, today, let's just say today is brought to you by Liquamoly. Um, Saratec is going to go in, it's going to outlast this oil change. It will last for 20, 30,000 miles. It's going to basically ceramic coat the bearings, the internals of which this engine has a whole bunch of them because it is a 40 valve engine. 20 valves per cylinder head, V8. There's a lot going on in there. And I hope this from Saratec will at least show the engine that I care about it. This is really easy. Basically shake well, pour an engine. And hopefully not all over the side of the engine. So that is it. It is good for 50,000 kilometers. You can do the maths on that. And technically 300 milliliters is good for five or six liters of oil approximately. So I should put an extra half bottle in, but I'm gonna hit the road right now anyway. Well, I always check turbo tires before I leave. Bearings, tire pressure, etc. And this one was a bit low. So I went to add some air and as you can hear, I have a leaky valve. So this has to come off right now. I've got to replace the valve. Grab a new valve stem. It's the right size. Don't forget to turn your compressor on. What I'm about to show you is a hack. This is not the correct safe way to do this. It is what I'm gonna do now, and it will save me hopefully a bunch of time. And if you yeah, if you don't wanna to have to rebalance or anything, this, this is an option, but this is your warning. Got it. So for those that were paying attention, this is now pulled through. I basically didn't take the wheel off, sorry, didn't take the tire off, removed the core, hopefully it would come out in one go, it didn't, it was already broken, and then I was able to catch it instead of it going inside the tire, so I didn't have to remove the tire, so it saved me a bunch of time. Now it's done, I've just got to seat the bead, put it up to its 80 PSI that it's going to be for the trailer, and I am finished. The disadvantage of that is you can trap your fingers, the back of the stem can go inside the tire. It's, it's just not good to put your hands in there or to trust that. That is not what it's for, but yeah. Job done. All right, everything torqued in a nice star pattern, valve stem done. Let's go. Well, here it is, a very nice black golf rally. However, the battery is dead. So I pulled the Touareg up, got the jump leads, gonna take care of that. Then I have to go make sure the car is cleared with the bin, etc. Then it is onto the trailer, but very, very, very quickly. Um, got a left-hand drive Supra on a set of works. Got a Sinca, single cab T3, Defender. Got a Subaru, little pickup. What else? So very briefly, K-Reg, British right-hand drive Defender, got an E-Reg, so was that, a 1988, roughly, Mini, um, Vol, Toyota, Honda, pretty good looking little Defender there. And yeah, little, little golf rally, and here is the Supra, which is looking pretty good. 
and then yeah single cab Volkswagen pickup which looks pretty nice although definitely has just been painted over dented uh, stuff by the looks of the center caps etc but very nice looking car so anyway this is the one for me okay I'm loaded up but low car problems the super next to me uh, isn't going to clear the lift by like not even close similar to the rally golf his lift's got a lot more paint than the rally though so I'm going to try and start with some wood blocks for him and then if that doesn't work we'll lift up the back of his car this is not super recommended like this this is kind of like my solution for low cars it does work but like don't don't kill yourself doing that all right All right, Touareg air suspension is going down, as you can see. Rally's got one strap on, but right now Volvo is up on the lift, which makes that a lot more straight. So hopefully, yeah, I'll square those up once you get closer. Okay. <sighs> silly u-haul trailers actually you've you didn't set this up right to go on it yeah. so all right i'm gonna put the camera down we're gonna try and get you set up on this and then you have to move afterwards so hold on all right we'll be back uh basically this should have been out and over because you got to put the wheel in between there that's the only way to strap it on these and it, it's kind of a dumb design but it's very easy but it's not modified car friendly the lip there is it out now okay you're gonna go forwards one one and a half inches like nothing just hold it right there e-brake is it not a matter or a manual sir manual. Six speed. you, you want to you want to say that again six speed manual beautiful <laughs> so yeah put it in gear put the handbrake on you're done oh look at that aluminum skid plate under here that is beautiful. All right, well now now that this is a thing, uh, what year is it? It was a 1997. 97, uh-oh. Yep. 15th anniversary, USDM. Oh wait, oh, of course. Yep. All right, so being a 97, that's how it came in. Yep. Is this returning? Are returning. you, you're military? The US. It's a US spec. But it, are you, were you somewhere with it? Yes, I was in uh, England with it. Okay. And uh, Germany too. You're with okay. military or just for fun? Oh, military. Okay, well, okay. thank you for your service. Thank you. And that explains why a 97 is coming in because yeah. your lip is beaten below that. Yep. So you're going to have to like... Bend it up a little bit. Yeah. But, or put some two by fours behind it. No. <laughs> wow. So you drove it in England yep. uh, where they don't like loud exhaust. Yeah. Um, and Germany where they really don't like loud exhaust. Yeah, that's a full four inch HKS TI system. Nice. Did you go on any tracks? Yeah, this has been on the Nuremberg ring before. 
four. On the tourist Spartan? Yep. Very cool. Yep. And for those that don't know if you are based in Germany or stationed there, this is the US German plate, which is very cool. All right, Volvo is now off the Rams. Rally's all loaded up. Turag and the new 22s is ready to go. Just throw them in and we'll head out. Terrence very smartly put a label right on the steering <laughs> wheel. Not in German though, um, but said, don't, don't mess up my car. Um, I have definitely done that. Um, <laughs> let's see, his racing spark plugs after starting let it idle for a few minutes. You know they ignored the heck out of it. I know. Right. That's I got like, it on ballet mode as well, too. <laughs> exactly. So to keep him from doing anything too crazy. But just because you were awesome at helping me. Um, uh, the secrets. Are, oh, my gosh. Wow. Wait. <laughs> twin turbo. Okay. All right. We've got dampening. So let's see. DC coils with the dampening adjustment. Billet and aluminum everything. Uh, HKS. HKS. Twin turbo to match your HKS. So this is just fully HKS. Just, yeah, <laughs> amazing. So I was admiring the works. Yep. Shout out to Work Wheels. Um, but yeah, yeah, you're like, nah, nah, the inside's nicer. Like, yeah. outside's nice. <laughs> but so how many laughs did you do on the Nürburgring, Nordschleife? Like nothing one, two, a hundred? Nothing with this setup. Okay. Nothing with this setup. This setup is brand new. Th there's no shame. Like, I'm not like, no, if no, you're no. like, only did one lap, that's like, yeah. just being on one lap is amazing. Yeah, just one. Um, <laughs> This is when I first previously got the car. It was a single turbo, uh, 64, 66. Okay, so how much was that? Like 400, 50? That was 700 at Seven. the time. Seven, oh my, I'm, okay. I'm, why are we dealing with Volkswagens when yeah. this is 700 on a single turbo? Yeah, this is, uh, this is a lot more than that. Max power, 1200 plus. <laughs> oh my gosh. And val valet mode, how, how, how tuned, detuned is valet mode, do you think? Down to about 200 or so. Okay. <laughs> So uh, it limits the RPM, sure. limits them from doing anything really too much on it. Still, limits 200 speed. horsepower or a little yeah. Golf would love 200 horsepower. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Well, thank you for sharing and thank you again for your service. Awesome, brother. Thank you. Very cool. Yep. Well, welcome to Walmart. Um, if you have never been to a Walmart, if you're in Europe or somewhere else, they are crazy. 24 hours, this is just a toy section, and then it goes forever. Um, but more importantly, let me show you what I found in the Hot Wheels section. So all of these bins, my hands are now covered in COVID, but that's fine. Um, I finally found the red Audi Sport Quattro. Uh, it is not the Super. There is one with metallic paint, which is very rare. This is not it. Porsche 911s, I don't collect those, but whatever. Got these three for Aaron in Minneapolis. And then another Fast and Furious Jesse's Jetta with no brake caliper. Uh, and shout out to Borla because that is their signature Mustang, which is super cool. So found those and then up over here for Julian in Delaware, three Acura NSX's, which are really Honda NSX's, but whatever, America. And then there's also a nice 964, I think, 911, but I don't need those. I would just grab one or two for friends. So anyway, that is my find right now. So here in a Walmart parking lot, um, very nice person in his Volvo. Um, just grabbed a Euro bumper from me, which is another part of my day job, as well as importing cars from Europe. So that's it. I'm done in Maryland, except I'm going to go make one more stop, but you might have to tune in tomorrow to actually see that update. So wait, did I just tease on YouTube? Ugh, I'm so YouTube. Ugh. Head Northwest. That's an awesome car filling up at Costco. I have no idea what it is, but it is awesome. So done filling up and just in case you want to know how much fuel costs in America, $1.99 for a gallon. So was that 3.8 liters or $2.24 for 93, which in Europe is 98 because we use RM2, whereas you use RON. But anyway, so 93, 224 and my receipt. Whoa, wait, 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 
hold on, hold on a second. Just, just, just a minute. Okay. I want to take just a moment now that I'm actually back at the shop. So we're just going to just skip forwards a little bit. This is the Volkswagen Golf Rally. They produced about 5,000 of them between 1988 and 1990. When I say they, I mean Volkswagen and Volkswagen Motorsport, as this was an FIA homologation special. It is factory wide body, factory all wheel drive, factory supercharged, only available in two door, only available in five different colors. This is one of the greatest golfs ever made. This is the granddaddy of the Golf R, the daddy of the R32. So I was running around earlier in the sun, loading, trying to get hustling, working. Now that it's safely back at the shop, I just want to take a moment and just, just touch on some of these highlights. And if you would like to, we can go into this more another day, but let's just very quickly just. So yes, it is a wide body. You can see the fenders, even with the, uh, the fish eye there, that's, that's that much wider than normal. And then the front end, the famous Rally Golf headlights. This is a badgeless grill. I believe the new owner is going to change that. Deep, deep bumper with the extra air intakes for the brake. Fog lights down low. This thing is awesome. Uh, let's see. You know, the white body continues all the way back. Smoke tail lights. Factory painted spoiler. That was a Rally thing. Beasting antenna, of course. Big rear bumper, should have a dual exit exhaust, but that's fine. But yeah, just that wide body here. Let me just, let me just show it there. There it is. Even with the foggy lens, that is the wide body. And in fact, the wheels look really sunken in. These are tiny tires and everything, but still, this is the 1989 Volkswagen Golf Rally. Special seats, that's the correct steering wheel. Just super, super cool. Black headliner, factory metal sunroof on this one, actually, which is, hmm, let's, let's take a real quick run. Yeah, mine, mine's a sunroof too, so I guess non-sunroof was rare. But yes, this one is mine. It is gray. This one is for the new owner in the Midwest coming to the USA, and as you can see, it is black. So anyway, let's go back to, uh, yeah, continuing the drive, getting this to where it's going here today. As you saw, I did make it back. The rally is now safely stored inside. I have just worked out that I am on hour 17 of working today. So I am, I'm done. I'm gonna release this video for you all. I hope it is fun, entertaining. Not to sound like a YouTuber, but genuinely, please let me know in the comments if like this is okay or what I can do better for you or more interesting. I'm gonna keep trying to do this daily for as long as it takes for me to learn that I can't do this or indeed that it is okay. Please do let me know. Good night. Yeah, T TCR. Yep, this is our TCR car. Um, <sighs> this is, you just have this for fun. Uh, yeah, pretty much.